Another kind of chi-square test is the chi-square test for independence. Now the chi-square test for independence evaluates the relationship between two variables. It is a non-parametric test that is performed on categorical data, that is, data that is measured on a nominal or an ordinal scale. So take this example. 500 elementary school boys and girls are asked which is their favorite color, blue, green, or pink. And below we have the results. Now using an alpha level of 0 0.05, what do you conclude that there is a relationship between gender and favorite color? So here is our table. On the bottom, you can see that I have the column totals, 120, 180, and 200. And on the right, I have the row totals, 300 and 200. And we had a total sample of 500 people. So we can use this information to calculate our chi-square. We're going to do a hypothesis test using these same seven steps that we always do. So step one is for us to state our null and alternative hypotheses. Our null is that for the population of elementary school students, gender and favorite color are not related. Our alternative hypothesis is that for the population of elementary school students, gender and favorite color are related. Now alpha, like I said, is always 0 0.05. Now calculating degrees of freedom, we're gonna take rows minus one times columns minus one. Now we have two rows and three columns, so it's three minus one times two minus one, or one times two, which is two. This analysis will use two degrees of freedom. And that's how we'll find our decision rule. We're gonna to go to our chi-square table and using alpha 0 0.05 and two degrees of freedom, we find a critical value of 5.99147. So our decision rule is if the calculated chi-square is greater than 5.99, we are going to end up rejecting the null hypothesis. So let's calculate our chi-square now. Now we're gonna use the same equation to calculate chi-square, except now it's gonna be a little bit more complicated to find the expected frequencies. And this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna multiply the frequencies for the columns times the frequency for the rows, and then divide by the total number of subjects to get the expected frequency for each cell. So for example, let's say we wanted to find how many boys are expected to have chosen blue as their favorite color. We take the column total for blue, which is 120, and multiply it by the row total for boys, which is 300, and then we divide by the total number of subjects, which is 72. And we find out that in this sample, we would have expected 72 boys to choose blue as their favorite color. And then we can continue that to get the expected values for all six cells. So now I'm just going to move that up and we have the observed values and then next to them in parentheses we have the expected values. And now we're going to do chi-squared like we did it before. We're going to take all the observed values and subtract the expected values, then square that and divide by the expected values to get those six different fractions. When we add those all together, we find a chi-squared of 276.389. So our result is, because our chi-squared was greater than 5.99, it was 276.389, we will reject the null hypothesis. That is to say that in the population, there is a relationship between gender and favorite color, using the chi-square test for tests of independence.